War against nature must stop, UN chief says before climate talks. Here's a summary of the article. Madrid, the world must stop a war against nature and find more political will to combat climate change, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres said on Sunday, the eve of a two-week global climate summit in Madrid. Our war against nature must stop, and we know that it is possible, Guterres said ahead of the December 2 13 summit. Many countries are not even meeting those commitments, and political will is lacking, Guterres said. Seventy countries have committed to a goal of carbon neutrality or climate neutrality by 2050. Last year's UN Climate Summit in Poland yielded a framework for reporting and monitoring emissions pledges and updating plans for further cuts. I don't even want to entertain the possibility that we do not agree on Article 6, Guterres said. Bank of England Governor Mark Carney has accepted an invitation to become UN Special Envoy on Climate Action and Climate Finance from January 1, Guterres said. This post received a score of 10,573, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Corporations, but if we don't destroy nature how will we profit off the misery of humanity? This is what makes me skeptical that we will all mobilize to do something meaningful. Corporations and shareholders are too conditioned to expect consistent, maximized profits. Responsible growth doesn't do it for them. Any decisions outside of short-term profit maximization aren't even secondary to them. I always wonder what people picture when they paint shareholders as some kind of evil entity. There's countless shareholders who are just average people working a job with just enough of a brain to realize that bank interest doesn't even beat inflation so you might as well do something sensible with your savings. They imagine the board of directors and the shareholder committee, not the small-time stockholders. You know the people actually making decisions. Though I suppose stockholders are not morally exempt from their shitty earning model. There's too many imaginary divisions in people's minds really. It's not a shitty earning model. It's one of the few sensible things I can do. I also vote for the leftmost party in my political system. I'm all in favor of extreme environmental measures and taxes. I'm in favor of cracking down on corporations when merited, even the ones I'm invested in. The only thing I'm not in favor of is letting what little capital I have available go to waste for no reason. That it is sensible, aka profitable, doesn't make it not shitty. You are part of the system that perpetuates disconnected decisions in the name of profit. Isn't it weird that you make money, aka gain influence over others, by doing nothing? How is that fair to someone who works his ass off for less than livable wage, someone who actually does something? I get it, it's a way out of the bottom mud pool, but it is still shitty. So are you saying it would be more ethical for Opta just splurge all their money on gratuitous enjoyment? Or keep it in a box somewhere? instead of putting it up to pay for the materials and infrastructure that others need to do their work? The basic pattern of investment is really pretty simple and fair, deferring enjoyment to support economic development, and getting rewarded later. It only breaks when the process started broken, with some people arbitrarily having 100, 1,000, million times as much money to allocate to consume, invest and in little connection to their past effort or social contribution. To me that points more to insufficiently strong redistributive mechanisms than a problem with private investment per se. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.